Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. People don't even know what that means anymore. Anyway, uh, we are going to watch some Craig Jones rolling footage, uh, which is very impressive. It's a great example of, uh, you know, using force uh, versus someone trying to use the dark side. Uh, so, let's get into it. Here we go. We'll go to the... All right. Here, that, was, that was fun. So, uh, here we have... Uh, Craig Jones and uh, Ethan Krelliston. Uh, shout out to both uh, both people rolling, and uh, so let's see what let's see what makes Craig Jones so fucking good. Um, <laughs> so as we watch, we're gonna pay attention to his base and his connection to his partner, um, and also fundamentals like you know keeping those arms in, uh, uh, keeping trying to get inside position, things like that. So let's get to it. All right, so Craig is dead. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so what just happened? Uh, we'll, we'll go through it. Position here. So, oh, okay, he scoops for the underhook. He doesn't get it, but he does still have a hook underneath. Okay, watch his, his elbow. Yep, stays inside. No. <laughs> so... As they were moving, Craig's elbow was still was like kind of tracking inside his opponent, uh, inside Ethan's uh, arms. Uh, he noticed his left Craig's left hand is posted, and I believe his uh, his left leg is also somewhat posted on the mat. So he has really good base here. Um, Ethan looks like he's trying to reach for Craig's neck a little bit, but uh, Craig's also like kind of swimming underneath there, uh, and he <laughs> clearly hit him right in the in the sternum because you heard that we heard that slow motion. Uh, ugh. So Craig has good base here, and Ethan's weight is like kind of uh, too far committed over top Craig to be to do anything uh, good here. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, as you can see, so Ethan still he's coming up. He still has uh, his foot on the ground, so he's still posted. But Craig has all the all the advantages here. He he has looks like both feet on the ground now, um, and uh, so he's gonna. So he's gonna wait for. He's gonna post uh, on Ethan. He's gonna use Ethan and the mat and kind of surf both of them as he stands up. Yeah, and he grabs the inside of his his own his right hand. Grabs the inside of his right thigh to keep as that that foot is posted on the ground. So he has a really good base here. And now he has that hook, and so there's nothing. There's no way you're pushing him over. Right, so he has everything right now. Ethan's trying to muscle through this. He's trying to use the dark side. That doesn't work. So now, uh, Craig's just waiting for the right moment where Ethan's weight is in the right spot where he'll be light. So, and, uh, it's almost, and he feels it. He gets, there it is. Yeah. Boom. Going for a ride, bud. You know it's good jujitsu whenever your partner laughs. <laughs> Some frustrated so sounds from Ethan. <laughs> Look at Craig's position, his body position. There's you're, you're not moving someone who's sitting like that. Um, also, he's Ethan's reaching with his, his right hand. Uh, there's all sorts of things that could be going better for Ethan right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happened there. Get some of that dark side big guy energy going. But uh, the person on the bottom has this option here, um, which can be pretty nasty. So Craig, uh, he's gonna he's gonna put it on. And yeah, so so that you gotta be careful. If you're pushing down, and you're underneath someone's in their arm, your head is in their armpit. Their other their their same side leg better not be uh, coming up underneath your arm because you're about to get. Buggy choked. Boom. Now here's the problem with this. This doesn't. I mean, this is. I use this all the time for just defensive purposes, just like this. You can finish it if you have the uh, correct uh, angle of your body, but it's kind of difficult to finish, especially if the person is like trying to wrestle the shit out of you. So, um, but it is a great way to just make them stop and think about what's about to happen to them. So, Craig uh, puts it on. He's got it pretty deep in there. Looks like. Um, 
Now, right here, if he would have brought his triangle, his left, uh, his right foot underneath his left knee, that would have been over. Um, I'm not sure if out of kindness he didn't do this, or maybe it's just going too fast and he just didn't think of it, or if he prefers to finish it this way or if he's trying to do it a different way. I don't know. I'm not Craig Jones, but um, that would have finished this, um, but uh, he doesn't do that. Uh, you can see how he has to kind of turn like towards his right side to finish it. So he has to really get over there. Maybe he just was feeling lazy. I, I understand. Um, so he doesn't quite get that. Um, he does use his other hand here. I think to uh, put a little more pressure onto it. It's our, I mean, it looks pretty tight. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, th this is pretty tight. I have to give this guy some credit. Ethan, good job for staying in there, man, because that sucks. Uh, but like I said, Craig, uh, if he had his, if he had triangled his legs and come up, turning towards his right, then that would have been game over for sure. It's kind of hard to do it sometimes, though. Um, and I, I think maybe right here he's putting his fist, because I think that uh, someone, I want to say Jay Rod uh, finished won something by doing it, putting a fist in there. I think that's what he's trying to do. And I think that's what allows Ethan to posture up and get out of there. Props to Ethan for just, you know, he, he, he did a great job of like, really giving Craig Jones what he deserves right, right here with this uh, this forearm and face. Here we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is pure heart right here. This fight. Greg's not letting it go, I think, because of the forearm thing, probably. That's what I would be doing. If you were putting your forearm in my face like this, I'm probably going to put it on. I might even go for the leg. You see how he's, he's not... The, his left leg is posting on the mat. Um, <laughs> but yeah, man, if you're uh, you're, for, you're putting your forearm in my face like that, I'm definitely going to keep that on for a few more seconds and make it, make it stink. Here we go. Oh, good job, Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> And let's, uh, let's call it right there. There's more to the video, but I think that's enough for now. Let's go back to the main camera. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the breakdown of that, uh, you know, make sure to let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see, or if you have some rolling footage uh, you want me to comment on, I could do that. It'll be fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Make sure to check out the Radical Store. Uh, and uh, do all the liking and subscribing and stuff. Uh, if you want to get some sweet gear for yourself, um, for the mats, uh, there's all kinds of stuff on there. There's stuff. Uh, let me know in the, in the comments if you want to see some Coach Mike gear, because uh, I, I gave him, he and I have some personal uh, Coach Mike gear, but we, you know, if you other people other people would want to, uh, to see it, uh, I can make it available in the store. So just let us know in the comments. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and come down and train. It's real.